In a battle for control of a corporation, a vote to elect the corporation's board is likely to be spirited. With the stakes being high, interested parties may contest the validity of unfavorable votes. In Salgo v. Matthews, we explore an election inspector's role in such voting disputes. In 1972, certain shareholders of General Dynamics Corporation grew dissatisfied with the corporation's management, resulting in a proxy contest or battle for control. There was a special stockholders' meeting for a vote between two sets of board candidates one headed by Francis Salgo, the current president, and the other by Joe Matthews. Salgo, as the meeting's chairman, appointed attorney Julian Meir as election inspector to oversee the vote. During the meeting, Matthews and his colleague, Paul Thorpe, submitted proxy documents to Meir, purportedly authorizing them to vote shares belonging to Pioneer Casualty Company in favor of Matthews' faction, which would have secured that faction's victory. Pioneer was listed as the share's owner in the corporate records. And although Pioneer was in receivership, a court order instructed the company's receiver to give Don Shepard a proxy to vote the shares and to deliver his proxy to Matthews and Thorpe. But to complicate matters, beneficial ownership of the shares had previously transferred to Shepard, who himself was in bankruptcy. Consequently, Salgo's faction argued that only Shepard's bankruptcy trustee could vote the shares. Mir refused to accept the proxies. He also rejected two other sympathetic proxies. With the meeting still in session, Matthews and Thorpe immediately filed suit against Salgo and Mir, seeking an injunction requiring Mir to accept the disputed proxies and declare Matthews' faction victorious. The trial court issued the requested injunction, and Salgo and Mir appealed to the Texas Court of Civil Appeals.